Hey, it's Allie, and welcome back to December Daily 2021. I am working on my eighth story slash day number eight. And as you guys saw yesterday, or you can check out the video for yesterday, yesterday I did a page using the prompt December is. I did a bunch of stamping. I put a adhered a pocket onto this custom background and paired that with the December die cut um, that I played around with in the product play for classroom. So today I'm working off the back of yesterday and um, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do for day nine. I know that I already have uh, this little booklet set up. So if something fun is going to go in here tomorrow, um, I don't know yet what exactly it will be. It will be something and it will be good. Um, but I also had the half circle in here and I think I'm just going to work on this side of the page and then I'll just move um, the half circle over here um, and can utilize that on one of these other days coming up. It's a little bit later than I usually start these partly because uh, I don't have a real specific story. Um, nothing has jumped out at me. Um, I have some things in mind that stories that I know that I want to tell um, a wrapping paper story and I actually thought that I had already taken well I did take the pictures but I accidentally deleted them which is not normal for me but I need to retake pictures of my um, wrapping paper which I definitely know that's a story I want to tell. I got some new Christmas plates this year that's also probably a story that I want to include in here at one point in time but neither one of those really felt like the ones that I wanted to tell today. One story that I often tell in December at some point in time and I referenced it a little bit in my journaling yesterday just very briefly is um, what my own personal workload looks like in December. Um, December for me, because of this project, I have the regular work that I do throughout the year, plus this <laughs> added on top. And I love this project so much, I get totally into it. I love my own personal routine that I have set up for it. Um, I feel excited to come on here each day and come up with some sort of a story. But at the same time, I still have the other responsibilities um, of, for my business and especially with um, this being a time of year where we're getting ready to launch other things. Our one little word project is coming up or is going to start again. Um, plus of the other things that I do. And so I usually include some sort of a photo of me sitting at my desk um, and a story about working um, in December. And so this is something that is very consistent for me um, from year to year because this is a big part of how I spend December. And so as I was thinking about that, I also kept thinking about this paper. So this is the paper that I made um, in the product play workshop using a jelly plate, um, a jelly arts jelly plate where you are playing with different stencils and you're layering paints. And I used it, I made that and then I used just the, a little tiny bit of it here for one of my um, texture sampler pages in the beginning of my album. And then I also used a little bit just within the last couple of days, let's figure out where that was. Somebody right now knows exactly where that is. But at some point I feel like I cut some of it out, but maybe I'm just, maybe I just picked it up as thinking I was gonna use it. I don't see it now. Maybe it was yesterday. Anyway, um, Yes, it was because I printed some journaling on there. So I have this piece, come to find out, it's gonna fit like exactly on the back of here, um, which is great and that made me really happy. So if you um, you know, don't have something painted like that, obviously it's just like pattern paper, right? So that's what, how you can see that um, if you're looking at it. There is also, now I gotta find, um, oh here it is, uh, this uh, half circle piece that matches the same size essentially as the one that I used on this side yesterday. So I'm loving having the greens there. And then while I was working on some other projects this morning, I went ahead and just set up my camera and I took a picture of myself working at my desk. So this is very much what December looks like for me um, 
during the day. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I know I want, to, I'm pretty sure I want to anchor the photo at the bottom, the pattern paper at the top. Um, I'm going to do some sort of journaling and I'm, I'm considering that maybe this would be a flip up and my journaling would be underneath there. That could make it uh, even more interactive, I would say. Um, that's an option. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do, actually, as I sit here and, and kind of think this through. I'm also thinking about what I want to, might want to put on the top. I considered the eight. Um, day nine is using one of those. And so to me, that was a little bit too much. So I might use that for an 18. It also looks like a snowman if you haven't already established that. Um, or thought about that yet. So I did pull out the number eight black chipboard. I might use this. I grabbed some of the hearts. I was kind of thinking like I could do, you know, three hearts across there or something like that. Um, I could use the story of this December day. Um, that would also work on there. So that's kind of my initial thinking. Um, I think what I am going to do right now is I'm going to go take care of the journaling, tackle that piece. Um, and for me, it's probably going to be setting up a six by eight uh, page, either in Photoshop or Illustrator. Illustrator is what I use the most for that, but you can do this in any of those programs. Um, and then this, I know that this will be the space that's available for my journaling. So I'm going to type something up for that and then probably plan that this piece here um, will, be a, will be a flip up, that will flip up from um, the top of the page. And I think I'm, my initial thought on this anyway is I wouldn't mind doing some more stitching. So maybe I will stitch this on to whatever my journaling is on and be able to flip this up then and have this be along the bottom. And then we'll figure out what's gonna go on the top of here. I can look through some of my other, um, the other die cut pieces too. I was also thinking about the, um, the chipboard and doing something with that. I think that that's probably what I would like to do. We've got somebody in the Facebook group had a post um, that shows an image. I think it was Lisa um, had a post that had showed what all of these were, what all of the individual words were that are on those chipboard pieces. So I think that I'll probably incorporate that on there. Maybe some, maybe making a little word tree. That might work. Um, something like that. Okay. I'm going to get really excited while I'm doing this. I'm going to think that through and then um, come back on here with what my, my journaling is. All right. So I went ahead and did a couple different things here. One of the things that I did is I hand wrote the word working and I've put it in my blog post as a free download for you guys if you want to use um, this as a prompt for your own project. I, I, what I did, I have a laser printer here. Um, so I went ahead and I printed um, just the title on um, a piece, this obviously, I printed the, I went ahead and just printed the title on this piece with the laser printer and then I was able to run it through the mink machine to have the um, green foil on top of there. That's kind of just a fun thing to do. If you don't have one of those, no big deal. Obviously you can just use it as a black or change it to any color you want on your computer. So I did that first and then I re-ran it through the printer with my journaling actually on there. So this will become the background of my page here um, with the photo on the bottom and then we'll turn this part into um, a flip up. adhere this down on here. It's I cut it a little bit too short so I'm gonna probably end up trimming a little bit off of that edge there just to get them lined up. Which is part of the handmade piece of all of this, right? Okay, so now I have that on the back. I'm gonna come to the front right now and just do a little bit of trimming along here and then probably run the other piece through my, on my trimmer. That's a little bit better. 
And then I'm gonna punch the holes before I forget to do that. Okay, so next up I'm gonna deal with this. Remember how I said I wanted to stitch that along the top? I adhered that before I did that. So you can just pull it up off the back and then I can do that again. Um, also, let's see, just wanna trim this down a little bit. Usually what I do with, actually let's do this first. So I think I do like the idea of having this as a flip up. So I want to make that happen. And I think what I've been doing recently when I want to do this is, is um, using a bone folder like this to create, to score essentially, to score a section here. And then I'm going to run this part through uh, my sewing machine, but this will help establish the fold where that fold is it's gonna be on the top. Um, also, another thing that happens when you do a flip up like this is you have space underneath the flipped up portion um, if you wanna add something else on there too. That's another option, right? So if you wanna have um, another photo on the background or maybe a pattern paper or some additional journaling, um, that can also go on there as well. So what I'm gonna do next, um, a couple things here. If you don't have a sewing machine, no big deal. You can simply uh, just to run your adhesive, which I'm gonna do that anyway, even before I run it through the sewing machine. Oh, okay, wait, just remembered something. If I do this, then the holes will be there. Okay, so this is why I have to think about these things in advance. All right, so I guess my only option is, how do I work around this? Okay, so I think my best option here is to cut this about a half inch, which is basically where the things are, and cover up a portion of this where it will just sit here, essentially. Um, if you are doing this at home, <laughs> If you are doing the, you know, if you're if you're following along with me and you, let's see, this will work. Um, I don't feel like it's ideal for how I wanted it to look, but it will work. <laughs> it will work, this is part of the working. Um, because I can easily just adhere this strip down so I'll still be able to flip it up. Um, I don't think that I want it to be like that um, I think that I do want this to go down along the edge. So if you're watching me make this mistake, uh, you could always fold it out from over here, or you could just not fold it out, obviously, and then not have a flip up part and just have it, um, okay, I'm just gonna go for it and adhere it right down on here, um, and then let this part be the flip up and then I'll repunch these holes. So obviously with a project like this and any individual page, it's gonna be choose your own adventure, right? You can decide what you wanna do. But a lot of, of memory keeping in this kind especially is figuring out how to deal with the mistakes when you make them. Um, that's what I, what I do often. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave this um, how it is. I'm still gonna run it through the sewing machine, I think. Um, it will have the flip up for the journaling there, obviously. Um, other things you could do, if you're not working off a bat, the back of a page like I am, obviously you could have a strip over here, um, and it could be washi tape. And that's something that I could do if I wanted to have this all be consistent down the page. Um, I'm still thinking about it. Okay, so I bagged it and started again, and I'm gonna just set this pattern piece aside or maybe I'll punch it or something. Um, I couldn't deal. <laughs> so sometimes we can deal and sometimes we can't deal, and that's how it goes. So 
for me, again, I, I know I said this a couple days ago, but that the idea that um, when something feels like it's not working, uh, and you know, that's ironic considering the title um, today, but when something feels like it's not working, you know, sometimes there are definitely opportunities to fix it in one way or another, to cover it up, to add something else on. And then other times it's just as easy to simplify it. Take it back to the core thing. What's the core thing for you this time? You know, is the, the core thing the um, painted pattern paper or is the core thing the words and photos? And it's gonna be different. I'm gonna have a different response each time as well. For me, I know, I know the coming back to the to the words and photos and, and something simple um, is almost always gonna work and be an option for me. Uh, well, it's always an option, but it's almost always also going to be um, probably the choice that I will make. So yes, maybe it's not as um, super visually interesting or you know crafty or whatever it is. It it's gonna work for me. And of course it's now trimmed too short. <laughs> People, what's today? Today's Tuesday? Today's, it's not my day. And I'm gonna leave all this in here so that you guys can, um, you guys know, I know you know. Okay, let's get back into this here. So I know that it's gonna fit mainly right along there. Let's just, get it as close as we can here and then we'll trim that little bit off the bottom there maybe a little bit more off that edge um actually i can cover up the bottom edge but i want to see where the holes are first so here we go back again next round okay so the photo is able to cover up a little bit on the bottom um this part looks fine there um this edge over here, I'm probably just going to leave. It'll be fine. Again, this is one of those things that like in the future, no one will go, oh my God, your edges don't line up, right? That's not really going to be something that somebody would say. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere that guy right along there. That is what's going to happen um, with this one. But I still want to add something here. Um, one of the things I did pull out was I have some more of this fun trim. And that would be something that could add, I could add on there that just has a little bit of green. I don't, as you guys have heard me talk about, I don't have a lot of green um, ribbon here. What else can I do? That could go, I could even, I could adhere that on there as like the ING thing. Um, let's see. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. I feel like I need, and, and this could just be because I'm doing pages that are more interactive this time, um, but I feel like it needs, it needs something. And maybe even just doing the green. I'm kind of liking having a page where there's like a lot of green on one page and then there's a lot of red on the other one, um, you know, playing around with the greens. I think I'll do the lighter green. I think I'm gonna do that. Also, when you get to the point in the process where you are overthinking everything, that's when it's a good time uh, to just wrap it up and, <laughs> and move on to the next project on your pile, which I'm probably close to that for today um, for myself. I think I would like to add a number on here and maybe even just a date, <clears throat> excuse me, a date stamp would feel good. I know yesterday I didn't put a number on there, which I'm totally fine with, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I, I feel like it's not worth anybody out there getting hung up on whether you have a number or a date on there. Uh, it'll be fine either way. Okay, so pulling out the stays on, I think just adding the date along the edge over here, it's gonna feel like a little bit of something added on there. So there's the date. And then let's get this adhered down on here. I'm gonna use 
red line tape to put that down along there, right at the seam um, of my photo. And I have one that is close to that width. And then obviously that is still gonna go there, but I think I'll do this part first. Okay, so obviously it's super thick. <laughs> will probably work for some people and not for other people but again this is part of the playful experimentation okay here's a random idea that I'm thinking of in, in this moment actually I'm just gonna adhere that on there and I'm not gonna stitch because that's gonna be too complicated um, but I'm wondering a little bit about I don't know if this would work cutting one of these off and like hanging a little charm from it. I kind of feel like if I'm, if I'm going all in on the, having some super thick things, I might as well go all in. I went ahead and I just put it, I pulled up this edge and then at, put it, it up, added it on so that it goes underneath there. I like that better on this side versus meeting it on the edge. Like I think I really like that when the stitching was on there and then this one can be just tucked in a little bit and I'm just gonna leave the extra that's on there it's not the other the other the back of the other one isn't sticky so nothing is gonna stick to this extra piece or that little piece that's hung over it there um, I really I really want to explore the possibility of I might maybe I'll do it on a different one let's uh Maybe let me get a little bit of extra of this and let's see what is the possibility of me cutting one of these off and attaching something else in its place. Okay, so I have the two little strings there. Um, I guess what I could, so lots of different things could actually be done with this. You could hang like a piece um, of chipboard that would be adhered, you know, like back to back. What I was thinking about was a token or something like that, but I could also um, like put a hole in this or something, or maybe I just maybe I just take one of them off completely, which will give me a little spot for something right on there. Um, also, if this is too much, you could, if you just wanted that trim part, you could cut these all off. And not ha and just have the background if that's what you wanted for this one. Um, there's also these really cute Tim Holtz little, like a binder clip. I don't know. That's a whole other, probably a whole other ball game. I do have. I I did grab these that are from. Um, I think they were crepe paper. They had these little charms that I thought were really cute too. And since we don't really do metal, um, but sometimes I want to have metal, that's why I have all these ones from, from Tim here too. Um, you could put it, that star right there. That would even work as well. But I kind of like the idea. I wonder if this is even possible. Or I could, another thing I could do, is to think of all the things, right? I could cut that piece off and then I could use some other twine and wrap it around there if I wanted that to hang. Experimentation is happening. I could even do like a layered, ooh, that sounds kind of fun. Was, what's the, ooh, and the smallest hole on here is pretty small. Okay, this is kind of fun. That one's probably too small, but I can try it first. Did I even get it in the right side? Oops. Duh. I think I just need somebody to stand here with me. Okay, so I punched a hole in that star because I kind of like the idea of like these two layering on top of each other. So let's see if I can get this through these holes. It might be too small. I may need to do, um, embroidery floss instead yeah the floss is probably going to work better let's pull that out and try that instead you guys are getting all the experimentation today i 
Okay, that goes through there. This goes through here. Other option, make the hole a little bigger. Okay, so significantly bigger, but that will probably like be so much easier. Okay, so there's those two together that I could hang right here and I could just cut that hole. Okay, we're doing it. We're going in. I'm just gonna trim the whole thing off of that one right there. And then I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm gonna wrap it around here a couple times. Actually, I could probably tie it. Let's just tie it in place there. Yep, I think I'll do that and then I will, actually, let's see if I can get it on. Tight it and then I could also just tuck it back under here and trim it off. Okay, I that I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about that. Now my question is, is how thick do I want it and do I cut off the other <laughs> little balls? I think I'm gonna leave them for now and then we'll just see um, how my whole thing goes along here. But I think that's cute. That's a fun little fun little thing to add on there that they can just hang in place. Okay, I'm gonna stop for today because otherwise I'll just keep going. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Actually, let me show you what it looks like in the album before. Um, I do that. Thanks for hanging out with me as I figure out what I'm doing on days like today where it feels a little more challenging. Um, but I think that this will be, this will be fun. And it gets my working story told. Yeah. So there we go. And I was going to show too, I do have this, that, or some similar, I have it in the middle here or the front on my front page. And those ones are pretty flat, so we'll see. Just kind of depends. You can also squish them down a little bit. I think over time that'll probably happen too. Lay down a little bit more. And like I said, I could also just peel those off. I don't know. I gotta walk away. I'll see you guys tomorrow.